Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Face Sergeant and welcome back to Satisfactory. In the last episode we actually left off and we haven't completed the cold power. I said I would do it off screen and I did. I experimented and basically one of these can support two of these. Well, technically two and a half of these. So and I couldn't fit in another water extractor if I tried. So Basically, we have only two of those, but the good news is I have set this up and I don't even need to go and uh, look for it. Let's look after it. Uh, I can just leave it as it is and not have to worry about it. Because basically, you have uh, one mine. There's plenty of coal left over here as well. Uh, the only thing could be if I were to find a water source relatively close by. I could divert some coal from here because technically one coal mine can support uh, eight coal generators. But the problem is the water. The water in this green lush oasis is the problem, I know. That sounds sort of stupid. I'm just cleaning my glasses and talking. Uh, basically with the biomass converters and pretty much everything else, I have about 300 megawatts of power. Or megaton. No, megaton is for explosives. But the long and the short of it is we have stable power now. Basically all of this goes into storage. Then from the storage, there's a conveyor belt that I crudely built on top of these ramps, as well as the power lines for it. And yes, it does clip through here, but it really doesn't, you know, impact performance of it. So, all is good. It actually goes down this line, as you can see here. Then I kind of have it set up in a splitter up here. And that splits it up into two different lines over here. And of course, I have two foundations here uh, because I couldn't just place the splitter mid air. And you know, there is a splitter pipe thing uh, in the middle here. I have room for another pipe to go through, but I don't really need it, I just needed the two. And yeah, that's it. Basically, uh, this will. This is a sediment for Gatum. Now, I haven't actually been able to. find, uh, you know, a map or any additional water sources nearby. So we're just going to go ahead and research uh, the research. That is essentially what I want currently. Uh, let me just go ahead and sort this. I will need to research uh, the research. Then once I research the research, I can set up the other things that I need. That is automated. I was kind of thinking of just dragging a conveyor belt all the way over here back to my base so that I don't have to manually run, but that seems a little bit extravagant. If I'm being perfectly honest, so yeah. We have a copper mine here, which I am going to turn into copper sheets, which will be needed for something eventually. The biomass burners, I can take them or leave them. You know, they're not the be all and end all. So, yeah. Let me just go ahead. God damn it, I really am moving slow. Oh, yeah, that's much faster. I keep forgetting. Okay, field research, select milestone. You need that, you need that, and you need 300 screws. I'm gonna get you your screws, since I have them automated. Yeeha, partner. Okay, hold on. Go ahead and sort this out. Um, what is the... Ah, okay, yeah. We can go like that. Yeeha! That is a milestone that has been completed. There we go. Put that in. 
Bam. The map has been unlocked. Player upgraded. Ah, more Master inventory upgraded. slots. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, mm -hmm. an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. Oh, would you look at that? There's water over here, and there's water over here. That uh, just... Uh, I guess the tea got swallowed up. Okay. Uh, uh, what did I unlock to actually construct? Special. Mum. The molecular analysis machine is used to analyze and blah 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 blah. I'm just gonna take place you right on over here. There we go. Do you need to be connected to a power source? Thickness, giant thickness tree. Really? Unknown metal. Rewards animal protein. Um, does it? It doesn't. Okay. Well, I have this. Hog killing time. Okay. Oh, it goes like that. Okay, okay. Now I get it. Please choose a new node to entry to begin a new analysis. Okay. Bioorganic properties. It costs five of those. Okay. Awards alien protein. Okay. Let's go ahead and start research on that. Okay, nutrients. Scannable object, not scannable object, mushroom. Scannable object, berry. Okay. Thickness. Thick. Okay, over here I have this, this, this. Flower petals. Put that in. Okay, but can I turn this into hog protein, spitter protein? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I think I got it. Let's put this in here. This I need. Let's put that in there as well. The rest of this I just basically need. It's nothing too special, but... Okay. Um, okay, that's nice. So that is the research thingy, and I got the map unlocked as well. That's it for tier one. Objective complete phase two, okay. So tier zero has been completed, tier one has been completed. Tier two now, research sync bonus program. Awesome shop, awesome sync, logistics mark two. Jump pads. Okay, for tier 3, we have Food Melee Combat. Yeah, that's a lot of resources. Spended Power Infrastructure, Power Storage, Power Trend, Hyper Tubes. Logistic Fist Kit. Blueprint Designer. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, that's uh, essentially it. Uh, regarding the research 
Now what will need to happen is I have the map. I'll need to go. Okay, yeah, there is a bunch of water here. I will need to drag. Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and scan for coal. Yeah, there's one over there. Okay, so this is my current power source. New map marker. Name. Explore this for water. Apply. New map marker. Select icon. Select image. To uh, power station one. Apply. Highlight. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and explore that for water. If I can set up another one, I'll have more than enough to actually get two more power generators. I believe I have enough on me currently. Yes, I do have enough. Okay. I'm just going to explore that side for water first. Then I'm going to drag the power lines and do the necessary legwork. So we're just going to need to go over there first of all. And I could actually gather up some biomass along the way, but essentially at this point that's no longer needed. Lizard doggo! We're gonna leave the lizard doggo alone. And now I actually have an incentive to kill those nasty, nasty aliens. Now let's actually just go ahead and collect all those Fikmas gifts. Yeah, from what I can tell... This is <coughs> relatively far away. Give me that. And this is iron. Okay, nice. Okay, and water is over there. So I do have a feeling that at a certain point I will need something from here. So we're just going to go ahead and without so much thinking we're just going to wow okay we're just going to go ahead and uh, set up the ramp here okay uh right let's just go ahead and take a foundation here bam okay good then let's go ahead with the ramps. There we go. Okay, deconstruct that. Go back. Ramp. 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 Okay, nice. So we do have a viable way to actually get up here, which is good. And there's the power... There's my power thingy. Okay, let's actually pick up those gifts. Oh, and there we go, there's the task hole. I wonder, can I just... No, you would think that you, you would be able to freaking hit it with a freaking chainsaw well give me okay <laughs> oh yeah this is really shallow um what was this this is really shallow I don't think this will work Perhaps this over here. No, that's not water. It would be ideal, but... Okay, I'll, I shall try it, but I... You know, honestly, doubt that this will work. Uh, 
Yeah, this was extremely wishful thinking. <laughs> extremely wishful thinking. Um, okay. Okay, yeah. That just won't work. Um, okay. Let us just go ahead and... Uh, let's remove this marker. There is this one over here. Map new marker, right on over here. Explore for water. Fly, and let's just go ahead and highlight it. And okay, here we are. So, basically... I did manage to come up here, uh, my grandmother called me, so while I was talking with her on the phone, I just decided to hoof it over here. So this isn't really that far away, uh, but it is a little bit tricky. What the hell is that? Buzz off. Bastard. Oh, now you're gonna get it. No, ha, ha, ha. Uh-huh. Oh, crap. That's another one. I can eat this. Okay, okay. Running on back. Okay. Eat it. Okay. That's a lot of damage. God damn. Okay, I need to take care of that hatcher as well. Uh-huh. Blue power slug. This semi-slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Yeah, that's great and all, but a freaking power slug? Okay, uh, never mind that. Okay, perfect. Nice. All right, we were... Uh, right, we were actually discussing this, so... Um, I can place many of them here, but the main question is where am I going to place the power plants? It would be best right on over here. Uh, I'm just gonna do two of them. Because that's the amount of resources I have on me. So I'm just gonna place one over here. And one... Yeah, floor is too steep for that one. Let's place one over here. That'll have to do. Uh, over here, I can just tear down these trees. There we go. Mycelia within this fungus suggests strong molecular bonding features frequently observed in adhesives and medicine, both beneficial for field research. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay, whatever. Uh, personal storage box. No, okay, that's nice. Uh, I actually want the production water extractor. Okay. Nice. And now the thing is, I'm gonna have to apply the same principle I did with the other one. Okay, so the field has been cleared as much as the field can be cleared. We're just gonna go into logistics. We're gonna go a pump line junction cross. Right on like that. And since we're going just with the two of them, this is quite literally a temporary solution because I can always come back here and create a factory 
uh, once I do the necessary research for it and you know organize all of this and whatnot so let's actually just go ahead and put it in here so that'll be the main one. Oh, actually if we could just have it uh, go from there Yeah, that's six. And from here to here. Then I can actually take this one into this one. Okay. And I can take this one into that one. Nice. Then over here, I can actually just take a foundation. We can set up another one up there. And I'm just gonna go around it like so. Okay. And I also do want to place a ramp. I guess we can place one. Just like that, then another one, then basically just a regular foundation right on over here. Okay, that'll be enough for me to climb up here. Then from here we're just going to go into logistics. And we're gonna go with the conveyor splitter and I want one right on over here. And bam. Bam. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Okay, now it's actually just creating a bunch of these poles. Let's actually just start with this one here in the middle. And we're just going to wire this one to here. This one to here. And we'll just buzz off. One over there, one over there, one over there. So this one, I'm gonna go here, this one, I'm gonna go here, this one, I'm gonna go here. Okay, it can, it can be like that. Don't really care since I'm not going for aesthetics, I'm going for practicality. Okay, there we go. So that one has been connected. We're also gonna place one over here. Okay, uh, there we go. And let's just, let's be practical since this is going quite a long distance. I'm just gonna go with you. We're just gonna place you all the way over there. It is hooked up to a connection. Go all the way over there. Just gonna throw all of those resources there. And we're just gonna have you over there. Okay, now this is just going to go to the power grid. Which I'm just going to go ahead and highlight. And over here we're just going to change this into power. Power Station 2. Highlight marker. And that is not... Stop highlight marker. Apply. Highlight marker, apply. Okay. And we're just going to head on all the way over there. Perfect. All the way over there. We need to be economical about this. I cannot just be throwing away the power stations for nothing. Since they are relatively expensive as well. Okay, now this one will be a little bit more tricky. Let's place it over there. From over here, we're just gonna head on over there. 
from over there we're just gonna go over here and we're just gonna repeat the process right around to here okay that is connected we just need to connect it to the power line nothing more nothing less it just needs to be connected to all of that there we go and i'm just gonna collect it over here and bam now it is connected to the main power grid we have the water over there now our only objective will be to actually bring it to right on over here into the storage unit which i'm just going to get right on over here okay just like that then we're just going to go ahead and create a splitter right on over here uh, splitter, 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 sprinter, sprinter. Right then over there. Now let's just go ahead and get it. Okay. Um, I should have enough. But yeah, what is the split rate for this splitter? Splitter, splitter. Okay. That it's oversaturated? It is oversaturated. It's not gonna... It's basically going to try to empty the entire storage I have up there. 30, that one is 60. We should be good in regards to this. But it'll take a while for this to actually... Uh, stock up so that is also a thing that one will basically serve more in the long term okay go ahead floor is too steep eh okay let's do it like this then no 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 I love it when I absolutely miss. Okay, good. We're just gonna want to follow this line. And just like this. Excellent. We're just gonna track it all the way over here. And right on over there. And all the way over here. Now let's see if we can actually just make it out of one thing. There we go. Now I think it will be much better if we were to just compile it over there. And over here for me I actually do want to create a ramp. So let's just go ahead and go like this, then another one like this, okay. Or I could have just jumped on the conveyor belt, you know. Either works. Okay. Okay, we're actually approaching the point. Okay, this is nice, actually. I just go ahead and go like this. Yeah, this is a long-ass conveyor belt. This really won't be that efficient. Now that I think about it, but... It'll serve its purpose. Okay, now before I do anything else, I kind of want to create an additional storage unit here. 
because I think that will benefit me uh, in the long run. So we're just going to go ahead and put it right on over here. And over here, I kind of do want to, let's say, anticipate something. And I actually want to do a splitter here as well. I think that's what I... Oh, no, 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 not a splitter, a merger. There we go, just like that. And the output going to over here. Then from here, we can just put it on like this. Like that. Then over here. Over here. <coughs> okay, we're approaching the final stretch now. Okay, hold the phone. Okay, nice. This is connected, but it's not going to have any call anytime soon. So this one will actually kick in as soon as it can. Because that is, believe it or not, the closest coal source that I could find. That one over there. And this, uh, this huge body of water over here is the, uh, is the closest water source besides that one. So that one was like the first fixture. Uh, right, we're just gonna go over there. That uh, first power station was the first fixture that we're going to be using uh, just to get this done. Oh, okay, it'll actually start production pretty soon. I can't believe that the coal has already reached this far. But yeah, that's a massive amount of transportation for coal. That's all going to go into the first storage unit, then to the second storage unit, and that will... So the first storage unit is over there, then that's going to go into the second storage unit. That's over there, then from that storage unit it's just going to ascend into the power grid, essentially. There we go. Circuit board, thank you. Uh, open drop pod. Pull handle to open door. Hard drive is it in the MAM. Okay. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Okay, nice. Holy moly, that's a bunch of wires right there. Circuitry boards, yeah. Let's actually take the hog remains. I'm gonna need them to further my research. Um, right, can I close this? No, I guess not. Uh, right. But that did have a bunch of wires, which is great. Okay, we'll actually go and check up on it as soon as we finish everything else. But for now, I kind of just want to see my, this storage unit here. Okay, there's nothing in it, basically. This unit over here hasn't suffered. Because that is all fed and overfed as well. Let's see about this storage unit over here. Oh yeah, that, that, that will just take a while for it to actually stock up uh, proper. So yeah, uh, power issue has been resolved for now. Okay, good. Now we're just going to go back to base and start our research on the subject. 
<sighs> Let us just, uh, yeah, go ahead and proceed. Yeah, we'll need five of those barrel nuts in order to do the research thingy. Oof, I could actually use a bite to eat myself. Gather up that Fikmas gift. Three pelberries, that's nice. Another Fikmas gift. I do believe I saw another berry over here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Hopefully this one contains two. Oh, it only contains one. It is what it is, you know. No use crying over spilled milk. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that uh, just went kaboom, apparently. Huh, what's this? Okay, that's weird. Oi! Oh, you little bastard! So that's what you do. Well, no space. Okay. Uh, right. Let's actually just. Uh, mm. I just go ahead and do a ramp. Uh, what's the rotation? There we go. <coughs> That's what you call playing it smart. Okay, now we're back on over here. Let's go ahead and collect this gift. So that puts us at 20, but I have more back at base, so... I should collect that thing up there. It's bothering me, but... We can get around to it. The important thing is we have a bunch of research options open for us. And we will go ahead and pursue them. Ay, ay, ay. That was actually pretty... F Stupid bird. That was actually pretty far away. Uh, the Our entire power line. But yeah, hopefully we will be able to fix a bunch of the problems now. Well, now I don't really need the train. Well, I you, I do need the chainsaw. Alien organisms. Go ahead and research that. There we go. This one cannot be done. Scan the drive. Yeah, that'll take 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, okay, so I literally have to wait for 10 minutes. What a load of bullcrap. Okay, I just put this and this in here. Circuitry boards. Let's put the wires in as well. Well, the majority of them anyways. Um, limestone, copper ore, silica. That and that, 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 blue power slug. Uh, so this I can sort out. Let's put the gifts in here as well, since we won't be needing them. And these, uh, this one is for leaves, right? Yes. There you go. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So I just had to wait for that research data. Uh, we have production 300. My current consumption is up to 130 to be real. But yeah, that's not gonna scratch it. Uh, we're pretty set. I think in the next one I'm just gonna try to expand and automate a little bit. Now that we have the power solution fixed up. 
This biomass generator just... Sh they're not burning, I think. Four per minute, okay. Yeah, in any case, that's gonna do it for this one.